Hello, I'm Scott Abraham, WBOC Sports Director here at WBOC's historic Studio D. You're watching Delmarva Life. Well, it all started out as a way to help pay for the mortgage on the Asbury United Methodist Church, but it's become a whole bunch more than that. We're talking about the Opportunity Shop in downtown Salisbury. It's a place where donated items are turning into help for people in the community. And that's where we find the Marvel Life's Brian Spiros this afternoon. Brian? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, the Opportunity Shop opened back in 1959. It's your typical thrift shop, but however, it's much more than that because of the good it's doing for the community. And here to help me talk all about it is Shelly Marshall, who's on the board of the directors for the Opportunity Shop. So the first thing, tell me a little bit about the store and where the items come from that are inside. All the items that you see are donated from uh, the congregation of Asbury United Methodist Church and from the community. We have a lot of longtime shoppers who bring their things back here because they know the good that it does. And what kind of items do you have in here? It's a wide range. We have clothing, adults, men's, women's, children's clothes, uh, linens, housewares, uh, all at really reasonable prices. And some of these things you said are actually things that people probably have never worn before. The tag's still on them, one skirt in particular. I just tagged a skirt earlier that was um, $109 and it's $3 now. That's a here. bargain. So it's That's a bargain. a bargain right there. <laughs> so obviously a lot of stuff here um, in the store. Tell us kind of how it all started. Uh, Back in 59, the ladies of the church wanted to help pay off uh, the church when Asbury built a new church out on Camden Avenue, which at that time was out of the city. And they thought that this was the way that they could contribute. And they did. Uh, the church was paid off and they decided they wanted to continue doing this and thought that giving back to the community was, was a good cause. So, and it's just grown from there. So obviously the church was eventually paid off, the, the, the store kept going mm -hmm. strong, um, and, and there's now a tremendous amount of help that you guys are doing to the community, which we'll get into in just a moment. But I mm -hmm. first want to talk about, too, there's a lot of volunteers here who help keep everything going. Totally staffed by volunteers. No one gets paid anything to do what they do down here. We do, it, it's a labor of love. Um, we need a lot of volunteers. We need at least 40 a month on the days that were open just to keep the doors open on Thursdays and Saturdays but then on Mondays and Fridays we need people down here helping to hang and price and um, just keep the donations sorted. So a lot of help already but you can use more and Always. speaking <laughs> of help um, obviously now the church is sort of paid off the money that you guys make here what do you do with it? We some uh, goes back to the church and some goes to uh, local missions we try to keep we give all of our money, you know, that we give to missions locally. Uh, we use um, our money towards Habitat for Humanity, uh, the Life Crisis Center, the Fruitland Mentoring Project, um, local things. We try to concentrate uh, a lot of our work on women and children's missions. And obviously, it's the volunteers that keep it going, which allow you guys to keep helping so many people here mm -hmm. uh, in the community. So we want to give people now the hours that you guys are open and in case they're interested in bringing down donations. So here's that information. The Opportunity Shop is open two days a week, as you said, Shelly, on Thursdays and Saturdays from 10 in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then if people are interested in bringing down donations, you can do that anytime the store is open or on Mondays and Fridays from 8.30 in the morning until noontime. So a lot of good things you guys are doing for the community, and we appreciate you letting us come out today to check it all out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> and of course, if you missed any of that information we just mentioned, all you have to do is go to our website, domarvelife.com, and click on the show tab. So Jimmy and Lisa, with that said, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Brian. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> no, a whole bunch of people that are. <laughs> We've been giving you ideas all week for your Sunday game day bash. Now we're about to learn one. Up next, WVOC Sports Director Scott Abraham joins us in the kitchen with his must-have football dish. But first, need to find the right job or how about the right employee? The jobs guide on DelmarvaLife.com may just be what you're looking for. It's just one of the many useful tools on our website. Just go to DelmarvaLife.com and click on the orange jobs guide tab located toward the top right side of the page. Really honest to goodness, it's one-stop shopping for both job seekers and employers. With real-time matching, you'll know which position and potential employee best fits your needs. The jobs guide on DelmarvaLife.com. 
It's just another way that we're keeping people and businesses connected here on Delmarva. Delmarva Life will be right back.